Fight Hub TV here with Tom Kong Watson, just talking about uh, enjoying Southern California. What's your uh, favorite part about being out? Just being a lot, yeah, just a lifestyle here. You know, the weather's great, obviously year round. Um, you know, great people and and the food really. You know, healthy food everywhere and. And of course, uh, you know, beautiful women and uh, at least a beautiful life. This weather's terrible though, right? Well, I'm from England originally, you know, so weather's not so great there, pretty dark. And, you know, lived in Montreal for a little bit, obviously the weather's different, you know, a lot of snow there and pretty cold. So now I got to California, it's, uh, it's time to stay, I think. Does it make training easier for you having nicer weather, you think? Yeah, I think it's easier on your body too. You know, you finish practice and, and you can be in the sun and just, just recovery, I just, um, you know, just everything about it, I, you know, I just really like being here, so. How do you like training here at Rain, and, and uh, what's your relationship with Mark been like? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, I came in here, obviously, you know, I just signed with the UFC, and, you know, Mark's the same weight, and, and no problems welcomed me in, and, you know, he's shown me so much stuff wrestling, and I feel like we help each other, and, you know, I'm just excited for, for his fight in July coming up. I think, you know, he's going to push and, and get back to, you know, right up where he needs to be. He's looking big right now. How's he feeling inside the gym? Oh, it feels great. You know, he's dropped down a, a lot of weight, actually, and, you know, I think he's maybe 20 pounds away, and you know I'm excited for him. You know, I think he's got it back in him, and and he's ready to go. And I, you know, I think he's going to push for the belt now. Do you think there's a nicer guy in MMA than Mark Munoz? Uh, you know, it's difficult. You can't. Can you get much nicer? Not really. So, um, you know, a great training partner and, and a great person. So that's why you see so many other guys in here, and and the team's uh, so strong. How does a gym like this compare to one uh, back home? Oh, just a great atmosphere. I just think guys help each other out a lot more. You know, back home it tends to be a lot more sort of everybody's out for themselves, and um, it's kind of from that boxing mentality. That, you know, you're you're an individual sport. So I mean, yeah, we fight on our own, but you know, you need your team to get you there, and, and you need your team to support you along the way. So, have you tried to get any of your folks back home to to move out here and come train with you? Oh, they'd love to move out here, but uh, no, they'll come. Try, a few of my friends try and come to train maybe later in the year and you know my mum's come out before and um, loves it obviously probably want to move there ourselves so you know they like it. You got a Talos latest coming up correct? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the matchup? Oh great fight you know it's main card in Brazil and you know he's fought Anderson for the belt uh, didn't get you know went the distance uh, nobody's finished him by, by a TKO knockout so you know I think I need to go in there and in the three rounds knock him out and, and make a statement that you know Anderson didn't do that so Will the booze bother you entering? I'm sure you're going to expect a few. No, nah, I fought. You know, I fought before in different places. I fought in Canada a bunch, and um, you know, whatever. If people boo me, who cares? You know, I'm going to get in there. They're going to they're going to ring the bell, and I'm not going to notice anybody then, other than Tyler's latest. So you know, then we're going to fight. You got a pretty strong following, though. A lot of a lot of hardcore fans love you. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to hear some cheers in Brazil for you as well. I don't know. I said a few things along the way about some Brazilian fighters, so I don't know if there'll be too uh, too many fans for me. <laughs> Well, uh, what are your thoughts on, on his style, and and what are you, are you in here training uh, specifically for anything? Obviously, jiu-jitsu, but uh, you know, is there anything you're really preparing for? Well, I think he's improved a lot. You know, recently, even outside um, the UFC, you know, I think he's improved his stand-up a lot. And obviously, he's dangerous on the ground. You know, most of his wins are submissions, but you know, this is MMA in 2013, and you know, he could knock me out, he could submit me, he could, he could, you know, every scenario is an option. So, just training the same as usual. Lots, a lot of wrestling, a lot of stand-up, a lot of grappling, and. You know, and, and then I'll be ready to fight, whatever. Tom, how has life changed for you since, uh, you know, becoming a UFC fighter? Not really a lot, no, not really a lot, you know. Uh, just uh, based out of the States, probably a few extra months of the year than I was before. And uh, not really too much, you know. I, I, I want to try and uh, hopefully this fight's in Brazil. You know, my last two fights have been in England on the UFC card, so I'd like to fight in the States and, um, you know, try and push my, my name out here a little bit more and, you know, maybe get a few more US fans along the way. Is there anything you don't enjoy about mixed martial arts? Yeah, I don't enjoy training like three times a day. I can't stand it. Everything I used to love, I hate now. So uh, training's not really that fun for me anymore, but you got to do what you got to do. And in terms of what I have done and what I could have done and what other people are doing for jobs, you know, I love it. So, What about your diet? You know, what do you do to stay in, in you know, top shape? What are you eating? Uh, it's not difficult in California. You know, everybody, everywhere's health conscious. Everywhere's labeling the foods. Everywhere's listing it. So, you know, a lot of good foods, a lot of superfoods, a lot of quinoa, a lot of juicing. You know, California boy now. So, is there anything you uh, you miss eating that you're laying off of? Well, I mean, fish and chips. But come on, you know, you can still get that in the states. Tom, is there anything you want to tell our readers before we let you go? Uh, just to check out, you know, I'm on I'm on Twitter a lot at, at Tom Kong Watson and and uh, Instagram. We just started and. You know, trying to put a lot of videos out there for the fans and just you know follow me along the journey and you know trying to have fun so um let's get ready for brazil all right tom thanks for taking the time all right.